Hello everyone and welcome back to Gino New Origins where I continue my career. As promised, I have a jet engine airplane, though I decided to throw in a rocket engine as well. So I found out that the jet engines are pretty powerful for their size. And given that, I only really needed one instead of two that I originally placed on the first iteration. And I decided to go with this sort of stacked approach where the jet engine is below, uh, which is allowable because the control surfaces can handle the aerodynamics of it when we're in the atmosphere where the jet engine will be operant and then the rocket engine is above though uh, technically this might be a little bit of trouble we probably should tilt the rocket engine a little bit but it can gimbal so it might be all right or it might be big trouble we'll see it might flip out the precise location of the center of mass after we finish jet mode it depends on how much of the jet fuel we've consumed yeah, it's complicated. Uh, I've made a complicated thing. I even put RCS ports. There is no gyro, of course. We are continuing with the no gyro approach to things. So we do have RCS ports just in case we get high enough that they might be useful. And uh, let's see, this is uh, electric mephalox, which seems to fit the tanks best. Uh, these are both mephalox tanks. And then we have the jet fuel here. I don't know if that's allowable. I put an intake. Somebody said we didn't have to put an intake, but uh, since I got a jet fuel tank here, I decided to put an intake here as well. I left the engine bare instead of shrouded uh, because it looks good, I guess. And we've gone with a silver and black look overall. Uh, will this work out? It's tough to say. There's a center of mass and center lift right now. Yeah, if I have, I, I, I should, I've considered it and I need to probably tilt that just a little bit for safety's sake. Um, through the center of mass, ideally. So it should be more like that. Yeah, that'll help. Uh, but if our fuel depletes and the center of mass starts moving back because the jet engine is heavy, I mean, it's not that that heavy. It's 62 kilograms, and that's 28 kilograms. But if it moves too far back, we're going to have issues. We'll see if that happens. Um, we'll have some fun with it. This uh, seems like a fun design. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, now let me just save it again. I've called it Shark. So, um, Air Race? Maybe? I mean, it cer certainly should have enough duration. Maybe we'll tackle that one. The Cunning Corners thing, this seems even less maneuverable than the previous thing, so we might not want to do that. Endurance Trip is with a car, and that's with a car. So yeah, let's try the Valley Air Race with it, and then maybe I'll reshuffle the contracts to see if we get something new. Okay, well, we don't want to throttle up all the way, and we've got two different stages. We've got the jet engine and the rocket engine. I might have to do some right-clicking or clicking on them to turn them on and off at certain points. We'll see. Well, the jet engine is working, despite the fact that it has a fuel tank in front of it. I don't know what kind of stall speed it has. Okay, punching it. Oh, oh, uh, no, I don't want the RCS on. Okay, it's holding it. Okay, good. That's that's fine. It's a... Oh, uh, the gear... Okay, our pitch authority is much worse than with the previous plane. Uh, it's really a high performance... I forgot the camera. Um, a high performance sort of plane, but not a very maneuverable sort of plane. No, indeed not. Um, tell you what, uh, I'll, I'll fix that later. Let's try and get to high speed and see what it can do in that department first. It's definitely hefty. I don't think it's a good racing plane. Uh, not for those kinds of maneuvers. It's got a serious fly-by-wireness to it, even though I don't have the stability assist on. I really oughtn't to have that, but... I guess that's just how things are here. Well, that's Mach 1. Uh, we need a little bit more than that to be convincing. Well, yeah, it's pretty sticky around Mach 1. Let's see with the rocket engine's help. Now we've got some thrust to weight ratio. So yeah, people had noted that um, I didn't get the Delta V reading because, of course, I was in vacuum mode instead of sea level, so that's why I couldn't see that. I don't know, even uh, this setup 
isn't going to get to a high mark very easily. We'll see. We're trying to go to high speeds below that 15 kilometer limit that the speed records tend to have. No luck getting too far beyond Mach 2.5 though. And that's the end of the rocket mode. Surprised we didn't get some sort of distance record uh, distance that we've covered. Yeah, yeah, I don't feel like the rocket fuel is... Uh, the whole rocket thing isn't very useful right now. Yeah, I'd say the way it controls isn't great. Anyway, we'll just land somewhere around here. I don't think we're getting back to the runway or anything. At least this landscape seems flat or flattish. So rocket jet combo, not super impressive. Long duration, sure. But speed wise, obviously not a match for the rocket plane. Well, I'm trying to figure out what the stall speed is here. Oh, well. Less than that. We're using a lot of pitch authority right now, though. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Another plane that needs a drag chute? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, let's just uh, recover this. Alright, so this wasn't that good an idea. Let me uh, try to refresh contracts. Learning to fly four. Seems speedy. Torpedo. Touch the water. Uh, I think we should go for the Valley Air Race and do something a little bit better here. I think we'll dump the bottom bit and just... Uh, oh, I attached everything to it. We'll just go for a single jet engine in line with everything else. Okay, so like, if I don't put an intake on it at all, is this gonna work or is it gonna figure out that it's being blocked? I guess I should check that out, huh? So, we've got pretty high thrust weight ratio with just the one engine it says here. And, but that diminishes when we get up to altitude, so we really need to figure out what improves that. That might have been part of our problem before. But for the air race, we don't have to go very high anyway, so this situation works fine. Nice duration. Well, it certainly has the right effect on our duration as far as being at high altitude is concerned. So there is that. Um, so, I mean, it's all very reasonable. Well, let's just dump all the fuel and see what it is with zero fuel. I already dumped the mop propellant in front. Yeah, it, it doesn't change much. I don't think we need that much duration for the racing purposes. We can go with half fuel for now. And yeah, I've got separate roll and pitch controls here. So we've got two different wing pieces now and the wing overall is somewhat larger. Uh, not as large as I could make it though. Maybe for better control, we'll go like that. We're not going supersonic with this for the race after all. Okay, but we're sneakily not including the air intake. Let us see what that does. Let me save all these edits. Ah, no, it really needs the intake. Okay, that checks out. All right, let's get an intake on. Oh, it doesn't have a no node up front? Gosh, useless strut. No, it does, though. Yeah, I don't think I can attach it to the strut at all. Yep, can't attach the intake to the strut. Oh well. Well, it's a nice option. Well, yeah, let's make it squarish. More like uh, F-108, I think, is what I'm thinking of. Okay, now we have an intake. I should put a camera. Camera right in front of the intake. Okay. And this will be shark too. 
Okay, yes, we are now getting thrust. Okay. Off we go. Gear up. Still very nose heavy. It's weird. Oh gosh. Uh no, I can't hit it. Alright, well, we're going a little bit fast and The controls aren't great. I like rocket planes better. <laughs> I like rocket planes better. Jets are overrated. This one definitely takes some getting used to control wise. Okay. We're gonna have some mean little checkpoints to deal with. Why does that look like two of them? They did, there were two of them. Maybe that was the point for the cutting corners they race too, I don't know. Don't know if we can do air brakes. Was it checkpoint 12 that was really hard? No. Not this one. Uh, maybe checkpoint 13. That that seems like it. That's like... No, it's still not that bad. Maybe I'm thinking of a different race. This is really hard to handle though. Maybe I should lay off of the canards or something. We've got the pitch controls in the back anyway. Okay, 15. Oh, that's too close. Oh, um... Yeah. Uh, I, uh, oh, I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, trying to get that one, I died. Well, which seven parts, though? <laughs> Ow. Oh, some things are apparently recoverable. Let me just get rid of the canards. I think maybe we should go forward swift on the outer bit. That'll mean that the roll controls are closer to the center of mass anyway, which will be helpful. I don't know. I feel like canards are useful for this sort of deal, but... Maybe I should have kept the canard on, but we'll see. Let me adjust the control surface. And this one, let's have it take up more space. Hugely more space. <laughs> Lots of uh, control. I didn't feel like we were short of air. We could make it a thinner body. Alright, hopefully that'll be better. Center mass and center lift seem fine. I will dub this Shark 3. And since I made the body smaller, do we need more fuel? It didn't seem like we needed more fuel anyway, so it should be fine. Okay, let's try it. Forward swept wings, my favorite, well, not quite my favorite thing, but definitely something I like. Okay. Going faster. Ah, uh, we can't pull up. I need the canards. I need- oh. Yeah, that was the worst pitch authority ever. Okay. We need big canards. Didn't seem like we would need big canards. Uh, maybe it was- a con the control, control was reversed or something? Cover. Uh, no safe light. Pitch negative one. Are you sure you ought to be negative one? Okay, let me just take a quick look. Okay, yeah, yeah, that would be pull up. That is going down. It's a little bit awkward, but let, let, let's see if it still smacks into the ground. Ah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we want the pitch controls there. I'm a little bit confused. Maybe I'm not thinking of something. Canard it is. Nope, don't even have pitch controls. Well, should be a feisty sort of plane. Let's see. I swear, if it doesn't work this time, I'm going back to rockets. Okay, well, we're going up. That's good. Gear up. It heard my plea. Feels a bit better. Maybe the problem was that the control surfaces in front and in back for pitch were fighting against each other. Because the ones on the wings were just not doing what they were supposed to or something, I don't know. Okay, double checkpoint here. And then checkpoint 10 over there. Plenty of time. Okay, number 12. 14. Was 15 the one that killed me? Might have been. Yeah. 15. Okay. Oh, they're really trying to kill me here. Okay, 16. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I could slow down soon enough, but... One gear is coming down. Oh, at least it's not a threshold one. Hate the threshold ones. Uh, but I'm gonna go long. <laughs> and... Whoa! And... Oh! Uh, I don't think any pieces broke. I don't think any pieces broke. So that's a good thing. We finished it. And flight. Recover craft. Totally recoverable. Well, let's try the cutting corners air race again. That was... It wasn't very easy. It says easy, but it wasn't. The good thing is the jet engine gives me some time to go to checkpoints again if I feel like my initial approach is probably not a good idea. Okay, punching it. Okay, gear up. Okay, gotta be careful with this one though. Ah, yeah, no good. Nice turning with this now, though. K4. Six is where? The six is over there. Most long trip. It's certainly concerning. Uh, maybe it was checkpoint seven. Uh, no. Uh, still okay. I think it's one of the later ones. I remember this one, so we didn't, like, smash in the ground with it. No, oh, I think checkpoint 8's mean. Yeah, checkpoint 8 is the bad one. I'll come around the other way and see if I can do it better. Uh, it depends how low we have to go here. Okay, we got it. Should have called this the doubling back air race. Uh, I'll double back on that one too. Oh, I didn't get it. Okay.
Well, at least this one is a little bit more forgiving. Five minutes and 40 seconds left. Checkpoint 12 is where now? Okay, that's 11 kilometers away. Okay, pretty fast. Okay, checkpoint 14 is 15 kilometers away. I'm trying to put all these long distance ones later. I mean, this is the sort of thing that can wreck a rocket plane. No problem for this one, but still. Serious thrust weight ratio. Okay, we better slow down here. Village runway, not the edge, not that. Anything but the edge. Oh, we're on this side. Okay, we have to go around. There's only one checkpoint left, so does that mean we don't have to like make a safe landing after we cross the edge? Well, gear down. Mm. Oh, we didn't get it. Oops. Okay. Oh. Well, you, well, that was an interesting landing. Did we break everything and smack into the ground? Let me see. Uh, no. Somehow it sort of magnetized to the ground. Oh, we lost the nose gear, though. Interesting. Okay, end flight, recover craft. Yeah, that was a weird landing. I should try that more often. I don't mind if the nose gear is ablative or anything. Okay, well that leaves... Oh, this is a hard one here. Chuck Schaefer, huh? Oh, uh, flying around the planet, and you seem like perfect candidate for one of our missions. We are trying to validate the new Ali base radars. Fly for 50 kilometers under 500 meters above the ground. Oh, I don't mind. While going Mach 1, above or near the base. It was pretty flat around the Ali base, wasn't it? Unlocks new locations. Okay. Well, this is a fine plane. Um, we already have the Ali pad. These are locked, but let's try just launching from the Ali pad. I don't want to make a long flight of it. Yeah, let's just turn that way. <laughs> Plenty of space over there. Oh, uh, uh, it's moving too fast. I can't turn. I can't turn. Oh gosh, it's gonna fall off the edge. Oh. Right. Okay, that was a bad plan. Do that again. Let's just go with the village, uh, the village runway, and then we'll get to the alley pad. Maybe I should put fuel, full fuel in, I don't know. 779 kilometers? No, we've got to figure out a better way of doing this. Maybe I should make more landing gear turnable. We don't have nose wheel steering. Oh, let's use a rolling power? No, that's not a good idea. Oh, maybe it might work. Okay, it worked. We have such a high thrust weight ratio. Okay, whereabouts do you want us? Ali base. Uh, it's a bit more sticky than I'm used to, but okay. I like this bit. I don't know if it's going to keep tracking me over here. Seems like it. Oh, uh, that's outside. Okay. Alright. 
Oh, I'm so overdoing it. I'm Mach 1.4. There's a little bubble around the base. Oh, what was that? Okay, zooming around the base again. Whoa, what's going on? What's going on? That's not right. Okay. Um, game is... Whoa, whatever was going on there. Is that the radar? Oh, gosh. This is not right. <laughs> Maybe maybe it was my superb acceleration, but geez. Um, no, I don't know what's going on. Eek. Oh, okay. Uh, we we got it, and then we. I, I guess they killed us. I don't know, <laughs> or I crashed. I couldn't tell because it was stuttering weird. All right. No, well, we'll recover what we can. Uh, we got that. So we unlocked those runways. I, I think we should probably do this short route here. It's annoying to continue to have this particular contract. So we, we need to go back to land vehicles, I think. I mean, we could do planes with it, and people have said, but I think it's better to do it with land vehicles. And, but I'll try it with a, no, we should do it with a land vehicle. Yeah. And then we'll have a clear slate. Next time we might go back to space things. I think we need the anti-roll tires. So actually, let's go with the X car. Yeah, super rugged. We don't need top speed. We do need lots of gear ratio. Well, I think we've got enough torque. Nose cone's basically there to, as a bumper to prevent damage to the control unit, I suppose. Okay, let's try it out. It's been a while since I tried it the first few times. So, I don't remember exactly where everything was. Or how this is going to work. Top speed. Should we really have that low top speed? Maybe gear ratio 5.2. Okay, through all the checkpoints. Do not let this game think it can stop you, little car. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, well, see. See now. Oh, oh, that didn't work out well. Uh-oh. The game's trying to stop it. No, what kind of angle is this? Uh, come on. That's not even right. Well, we're gonna get down there, darn it. It should totally be flopping onto the back tires, come on. I should put a back, like, battery, it looks like. The nose is way too heavy. I mean, we're moving, but I don't think this is the best way to go. I'll just uh, recover it, and we're going to put a little battery in the back, I suppose. Where is our center of mass? I mean, I guess it could be problematic. Oh, it needs to be a pretty big battery to counterbalance. What the heck is in the nose cone? Nothing in the nose cone. Yeah, the... Front tires here, 223 kilograms. Oh, okay. Well, then let's give these... Uh, apparently, having turning angle is... weighty. It's a weighty decision to have turning angle. Okay. That's a uh, tight little guy. Let's try this again. Oh, shoot. Um... Okay, might be a little bit too feisty for me. It's as fast as we can go, and we're upside down. I think I accidentally took the body off and put it back on upside down. 
That's fine, this was designed so that that doesn't matter, right? Right. Okay, down here. Okay, and this really tough wall. Don't care, we're still moving. Oh, it, it likes to roll up like that. Um, okay. Oh, it's doing really complicated things. I don't know. That that's some bizarre. It's pulling some bizarre moves. Okay, it's break dancing. It's break dancing. I don't want it to break dance. Which way around are we gonna go this time? Oh no, we landed on our side. Okay, I've had enough of this. <laughs> Oh no, we landed in an exact way that we can't recover ourselves. I need a little piston out the side to straighten ourselves out. Okay. I hate cars. I mean, <laughs> I'm not good at cars. Next time we'll do something completely different. We'll try some of these other things down here. It's been a while since we did space things in this mostly space game, so I think I will turn back to that in the next video. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.